I finally got a box of these stinking Wago lever nuts wire connector things. I have long had an opposition to using these things. I think these are a joke. I cannot fathom using these to make a connection that carries any significant amount of current. I have, over the last several months, received a handful of comments about these from reputable users who speak very highly of them. Most recently, it was proposed I should use these for ceiling fans. Number one, I should use them to make the connection in the down rod to add longer lead wires, which is a reasonable suggestion, though the correct solution to that is to replace the lead wires entirely with ones that are the right length. Uh, and number two, to use these to make the connections to the ceiling box as opposed to using a conventional twist on wire connector because these do break solid wire after so many you know connections and removals and that's a valid problem and that does happen I do run into that so as I always try to do I try to analyze everything as unbiased and open-minded as possible I finally decided to buy a box and I'm going to try it out for myself and if I think they're a joke then I still think they're a joke if need be I'll cut myself a slice of humble pie so let's see what we got here this is the 221-412 these are good for I believe 20 gauge through 12 gauge wire somebody also suggested that these are better at joining stranded wire to solid wire than a conventional twist on wire connector is and that might be true inherently these are UO recognized these are NEC approved I don't see how but let's take a look so these are supposed to be good for 20 amps it's a lot of power or a lot of current rather Okay, here are these cheesy little plastic things. They're actually bigger than I thought they were going to be. These are not all that much smaller than a than the typical twist-on wire connectors I was using. And they are smaller, but not that much. So, it's a cheesy little plastic thing. I don't like plastic when it comes to electrical connections I know that's becoming this the gold standard what's well, house your outlets and your switches and everything in some stupid plastic piece of junk no not in this household everything here is metal um, everything I install is metal so I don't like this you know right off the bat because it is stinking it's it's got that cheesy like ugh, it's all plasticky now I guess this is plastic too but I don't know so you're supposed to open this up oh it's like spring loaded so this is open now and i guess this is where it makes the connection in there um, yeah i hate this <laughs> i really don't like this this is super cheesy to me and it's, it's like really small and difficult to work with. I don't know. Well, let's use it. So first off, I've got some wire here. Let's cut some pieces of wire and let's make a connection. So normally what I would do if I was to connect the wire, let me strip this back here. This is 12 gauge, so this is the largest that these things are supposed to be able to accept. What I would normally do is I would take the wire 
and put it together like this. This is 12 gauge, so it's a little bit difficult to work with. Always compared to 14. And I'd make the connection like this. And making sure that we got multiple turns there. And then once that's connected, like that, lots of surface area making the connection, I would then take my twist on wire connector and put this on. And obviously this is too long, but just for the sample it doesn't matter. Okay, and I turn this until it kind of stops. And no, I don't put any electrical tape on this. There is no reason to put electrical tape on this. That is not UL required. That is not NEC recognized. It's just nonsense and it serves no purpose. I hate when I open up an electrical connection area and I see just tape all over the place for no reason. So this is what I would normally do. And I have a lot of confidence in this connection. I feel like this is able to carry as much current as the wire itself can. It is not going to come undone. I will try to pull it apart. And I don't think that it's going to come apart. Yeah, it's, it's taking my pliers apart before <laughs> it's coming apart. So this is an extremely strong and sturdy connection. I have complete confidence in this. Not that this is really a good backup safety measure, but if the ceiling fan's mounting apparatus failed, I would trust this to hold the weight of the ceiling fan. Uh. Okay, now let's move on to these cheesy things. So how much do we have to strip this back? Not very much. Just uh, maybe less than a quarter inch. a little bit too much okay so here's the connection now we open this up which you need tiny little fingers to do then we stick this in here like this we stick that in there and then we close it but what actually makes the connection though See, this is able to, it just came right out. This is able to turn and it just comes right out. This is not going to turn. I mean, you physically cannot get this out of here other than by taking it off. This, this wire will break before it comes out of here. Am I using it wrong? Am I not stripping it back enough? That's a joke. No, I wasn't stripping it back enough originally, but it's got to go back about this much. Ugh, like this is all, this is loose. I hate this. I think this is a total joke and a half. This is exactly what I was expecting out of these. A cheesy connection.
this is not acceptable to me. This, to me, that's a fire hazard because a loose connection can heat up. Is, is it going to pull out straight? No, not, I don't think so. But it can certainly be pulled out. No, it's it's fairly strong as long as the wire is not turning. You know, once the wire turns, it's all over. It can come right out. It's fairly strong in this respect. But if you turn the wire in the slightest, it just comes right out. So, yeah, I don't know. I maintain my position. Those things are a joke. I would never trust any amount of current to go through these things. Now, for a one amp draw of a ceiling fan motor, it's probably fine. I'm going to try using these the next time I install a ceiling fan. And I'm going to see if I feel satisfied with the connection it makes. Normally the connection, once it's inside the box, is not messed with, but there's always that possibility of something going wrong. And when it goes wrong, you want to make sure it's not going to break. That's not going to break. That, I don't know. Would, would these prevent the wire in the box from breaking, from taking a wire twist connector thing on and off? Definitely. But does it make a really good connection? I still am not convinced that it does. I just don't think it does. I mean, it's... Again, maybe for small amounts of current, but for anything significant, I can't see it. So, I tried it. Here they are on the bench. And I still don't like it. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be.